Hey guys, I wanted to create this video really quickly just to show you how you can connect a domain that you have registered with Cloudflare, how you can connect that to phone sites. It's super easy. Uh, now I've already created a video for you before on Cloudflare. That though was for if you have a domain registered with GoDaddy and you needed it to work with having the www subdomain in the URL. So what I mean by that is like up here, if it would be like in your address bar, if it was you know, www.cloudflare.com or something like that, right? In order for that to work properly for GoDaddy, you got to move those DNS records over to Cloudflare. I've got that video for you. Super easy to get set up. But this video, though, this is if you have bought a domain through Cloudflare or you've moved a domain from GoDaddy or somewhere else like Namecheap or whatever, you've moved it over to Cloudflare. And actually, this domain here, I just got it the other day. I'm going to go ahead and set this up with a phone site site real quick. Super easy. So what we're going to do is um, I've got a bunch of sites in Cloudflare. When you first sign into Cloudflare, it's going to give you a whole list of sites down in the middle. You're going to go and find the right domain. OK, um, I've already done that. I got it up here. So I'm going to go ahead and click into the DNS tab at the top. And since this is a new domain, there's only two uh, DNS records set up for this. That's fine. We're going to add in a new one. OK, so I need to get an IP address from phone sites. So I'm going to go over to phone sites here. And I've got this, uh, you know, like this demo funnel set up here that we've used over the over the years now for setting up stuff, uh, creating these videos and so forth. I'm just going to go ahead and put in my domain. So the custom domain field under the config tab for my site, that's where I'm going to put in that domain. So in this case, it's going to be that domain you see up here. So mobilefunnels.biz. So let's go ahead and put that in. And then let's go ahead and save that. And then just click right here where this IP address is. Copy that. Um, you don't have to like highlight that or anything to copy it. All you have to do is just click right in there. That copies it for you. Then go back over to Cloudflare. You're done over here in phone sites. There's nothing for you to do. You can go back over here into Cloudflare. And under the DNS tab, we're going to go and click on Add Record. This type dropdown is going to default to A. That's an A record. Keep this as A. You'd use these other uh, record DNS record types for other DNS records. So, for example, like if you were setting up uh, domain verification for Google when you're setting up your G Suite account, or if you're setting up uh, Facebook domain verification, if you want your Facebook business manager to verify your domain and so forth, you're going to use a text record. We're not going to dive into that here. Um, you'd use MX records for setting up your G Suite account or your Outlook account or whatever. You're, you're, this is for mail, so mail exchange server. We're not going to dive into that here, but I'm just wanting to explain that these are what all these are. These are types for DNS records. So leave that as A. Go into the name field here, set that to be the at symbol. Cloudflare is just going to treat this at symbol as being your domain. Perfect. Go over to the IP version 4 address field, drop in that IP address. So I just pasted that in there. It's the same one that I copied from right here, right? OK, so that's added in. Leave the time to live. This is basically saying how long that this record should exist before they go in and fetch a current version of the record. Leave that set as auto. Leave this cloud here as proxied. And then hit save. So now we've got three records in here. Uh, by default, when I got this domain, it already had this C name record set up for the www subdomain. And its um, value here is for my domain. So I'm just going to leave that as is. No change is necessary, right? Um, super simple. I didn't have to do a thing for the www subdomain, whereas I do if I have a GoDaddy domain or if I had maybe like a Namecheap domain or something like that, right? Okay, even Google domains, you still have to set up a synthetic record for that to work with phone sites. But for GoDaddy, don't have to do that. I mean, for, sorry, not for GoDaddy, but for Cloudflare, don't have to do that at all. So now what we're going to do is this is all saved. This is all good. Let's go over here to phone sites. I already saved this, but I just like to get in the good habit of saving all, all the time. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. Now let's go check out our domain. OK, new tab. There we go. So there's that phone site site. Doesn't look all that pretty, but like I said before, this is just used for testing stuff out, right? So earlier today, 
was responding to someone that had, had asked a question about how to add in a Vimeo video. So I created a video on my phone to, to send to them through Messenger. But anyways, that's what you see here. You see this ugly demo page, but it works, right? So, okay, see how simple that was? That was super easy. Now, if I wanted to get rid of this out of the site, I would just go into config here, delete that out, save that. And if I wanted to use this domain here with Wix or Squarespace or something like that for like a main website, I could do that. I could go in here and change my A record. And all I'd have to do is just change this IP address to whatever Wix or Squarespace or whatever it gives me. Um, I've got a separate video that walks through how you could use your domain to set it up where the main domain goes to like a main website and then a uh, subdomain goes to your phone site's landing page. So what I mean by that is if I were to, let's just leave that as is, let's add a new A record here. Let's call this get, oh, LP, LP for landing page, right? Or I could, get, I could, I, I can make this like go, or I can make it get started or let's just leave it as get started. Okay. And let's put in that phone site's IP address, hit save. So now what I'm going to do is, so let's pretend that this, this A record, let's pretend that I already have, let's, let's pretend that mobilefunnels.biz is on my main website. And now I want to use phone sites for a landing page for my domain too. So you can have both a landing page and a main website on your domain. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. So I'm going to go and put get started dot mobile funnels dot biz into this custom domain field here. So let's see here. What is get started? Save that. So the only difference between this and what I had before is now I have this subdomain in here. So get started is my subdomain. And in order for the site to show up now, because I've made this change, and that subdomain here. There we go. Did I save this? So there we go. So get started.mobilefunnels.biz. There's my landing page. And then again, I could have, I don't have it set up this way, but I could have my, uh, my main website for my business on the actual domain. So someone, if they were going to mobile, mobile funnels.biz, they would go to my main, my main website. And then if I wanted to run a paid ad, I could run the paid ad to get started mobile funnels .biz, and it would go to this landing page and then I could get my leads that way. All right. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. If you have any questions, let us know.